Once you have created a relational connection to SAP HANA, the next step is to create the data foundation for the universe. When connecting to SAP HANA, you can build your data foundation by selecting the appropriate tables and creating joins between them, or you can build your data foundation directly on a pre-existing analytic or calculation view. In this tutorial, you will create a data foundation based on SAP HANA tables. Create a new data foundation in your project. Right-click the SAP HANA project. Click New. Select Data Foundation. Specify a unique name for the data foundation. Type SAP underscore HANA underscore DF tables and then click Next. Set up the data foundation to be single source, which is the default data foundation type. Click Next. Note that the relational connection has been published to the repository, creating a secured connection shortcut. Use the shortcut as the connection for the data foundation to secure the universe. Select the SAP HANA connection shortcut checkbox. Click Finish. Click Minimize. Once the connection is established, the next step is to set up the data foundation to process SQL statements most efficiently for SAP HANA. View the properties for the data foundation. Click Data Foundation. Select the SAP HANA DF Tables Data Foundation. Click the toggle button. View the parameters for the data foundation. Click Parameters. A query may contain multiple SQL statements. When the join by SQL parameter is set to no, these multiple SQL statements are processed one at a time, and the results are aggregated in the client tool. When this parameter is set to yes, the SQL statements are rewritten into a single statement, and the aggregation takes place in the database. This makes the query faster, and requires less memory from the client tool. Set the parameter to yes. Select the join by SQL parameter. Click the values list. Select yes. Apply and save your changes, and then return to the connection view. Click OK. Click the toggle button. Click Save. Click Connection. Next, navigate to and select the tables that contain the desired data for your universe. Click to expand the SAP HANA connection. Add the desired tables to the data foundation. Click to scroll down. Click to expand the eFashion group. Double click the article color lookup table. Double click the article lookup table. Double click the calendar year lookup table. Double click the outlet lookup table. Double click the shop facts table. Click auto range tables. Define the joins between the tables. You can either automatically detect the joins and their cardinality, or define them manually for each pair of tables. Click the detect list. Select detect joins. Join the tables based on matching column names. Select Column Names. Click Next. Select the Detect Cardinalities checkbox. Click Finish. Arrange the tables in the Data Foundation. Click Auto Arrange Tables. Save your changes before continuing. Click Save. Note that the joins that have been automatically detected may require manual adjustment. Change the double join between the shop facts table and the article color lookup table to a single complex join. Right click the top join. Select delete. Click yes. Right click the second join. Select edit join. Press control and select the article ID column for table 1. Press control and select the article ID column for table 2. Click validate. Click Close. Detect the cardinality of the new join. Click Detect. Click OK. Save your changes. Click Save. You have successfully created a simple data foundation based on SAP HANA tables. Note that you can create more complex structures using additional fact tables, aliases, and contexts, if desired. Refer to the tutorials on building the structure of a universe and resolving loops in a universe. This is the end of the tutorial.